Perplexity now allows you to connect its search results to other tools, and this opens the Pandora's box of AI use cases. Today I'm going to show you five ways to integrate Perplexity with Notion, and these are guaranteed to boost your productivity into the fifth dimension. These use cases go all over the place, from deciding what to wear, up to espionage level industry research. If you're new to Perplexity, you can simply think of it as the world's most powerful AI search engine. And if you're new to Notion, you can simply think of it as a replacement for Google Docs and and your notes, whatever app you use to take notes. But there is so much flexibility and power built into this, it's really become the main software that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. And we're gonna connect the two of these together using make.com. If you're not familiar with make.com, it makes integrations like this super easy. Let me show you. Here I am inside of my make.com account. There's a lot going on over here. All you really need to worry about if you're a beginner is this scenario. Scenarios means the same thing as an automation. I've got all of mine here, and this is what I want to walk you through today. The first use case I want to get into is for the morning routine. I find when I wake up in the morning, I'm checking all different places to figure out what's the weather going to be like, what do I need to do for my workout that day, etc. So this was the first integration that I put together, and it's the simplest, so I think it's a good way to start. And the first step here is we're going to add this Perplexity AI module. These are called modules, the different software stacks that you integrate. We're going to click this Create a Chat Complete completion module. And what this does, it's basically going to go out and search the internet for whatever the prompt that we put in here, whatever the search query might be. We got to click into messages and into role. We select user and in content, we're going to just put our prompt. And I'm living here in mid coast Maine where weather is always an issue. So I'm just putting in here, what is the weather forecast for today and this week in mid coast Maine? I'm going to click OK. And then we can right click on this, run this module. Of course, if you're doing this for the first time, you're going to have to connect it to your perplexity account. All right, now it's run and we can see the results here by clicking this magnifying glass. This is probably the trickiest part is learning how to navigate some of these different drop downs inside of make but if you click around you can find the message choice content and here is the forecast so you can see the output here and we can dump this right into our notion if we wanted to which is very cool but there's a lot here there's a little too much information I don't know if you feel that way with AI but Oftentimes it gives you a little TMI. So we want to uh, shape this into something that is very concise and actionable. And for that, I'm gonna be adding a chat GPT module here, open AI module chat completion and for this the GPT 4.0 is just fine in fact it's great and now we want to add a message so the role again is always user in here um, for everything we're going to do today the role will be user so I've put this prompt here it's going to take this forecast and let me know what the highs and lows are for the day that's really all I need to know along with some ideas of how I should dress to stay warm and if a morning bike ride is a good idea that's always something I'm wondering so I've asked it that and also if it's cold enough that I should start a fire. I heat my home with wood and in the shoulder seasons, spring and fall, it's always hard to tell if it's going to be warm enough outside where I don't need a fire. So those are the decisions I'm trying to make. And now I have this prompt that will take the weather forecast and turn that into something we can add to Notion. But before we go any further, I just want to let you know that I'm going to have all of these scenarios, everything that I'm going over here and a bunch more available to my Patreon supporters. There's a link in the description. So check that out if you you're interested in that. All right, I've updated all that and you can see here when you open these little drop downs, you can select this choice and put in the forecast there. So we're mapping that data that came from Perplexity right here into this prompt. I'm going to click OK. Now let's run both of these and see if it works. Again, this little magnifying glass is where you need to go. And then you need to go down here to output, choices. This is not very intuitive, but choices, messages, content. And it's given me here weather today for this location. Here's the highs and lows. Dress warmly, no major storms. It's not bad, but I'm looking for really just a couple sentences. I've just updated this prompt to say, please make your reply very concise two to three sentences max. I'm going to run it again. This is the typical trial and error that goes along with AI builds. 
There we go. That's exactly what I'm looking for with everything I need to know when I'm starting my day. Now let's dump it into Notion. For that, we're going to grab the Notion module, create a page. If you're brand new to Notion, all you need to know is that pages can act as folders as well. This makes it very, very flexible. So to store our different morning reports, I'm going to create a page which will act as a folder that I'm just calling morning report. Just go up here, click new page, and there you have it. But the one thing you're definitely going to want to make note of are the numbers up here in the UR and you're going to need to do this in the web version to start. It'll all work in the app as you go along, but you're going to want to copy and paste this because this is what we need to put into make. And you've also got to make sure that your make connection is set up. Right here are your connections and right here, active connection make. You can see that there. You can Google that to figure out how to do that. I also have some resources for that in my Patreon if you're interested. So now back in make.com, I'm giving that parent page ID, which is that string of letters and numbers in the URL, putting that in here. And then we're gonna say, what is the title of this page? We want this to be the date and morning report. So we're gonna need to add in a way for make to know what the date is. I'm adding a module, set variable module, variable name date variable value this is one of the trickiest things click on this little date and we're going to click on format date inside here now and then the format we want it in is day day mm year year so this will give us the date i'm going to run that module there's the date worked correctly now for the title of this new page it'll have the date and morning report and the content we're going to add we're just going to add a paragraph it's going to be this result number two this result here from our chat gpt module one thing about make, you want to make sure that you are saving stuff all the time. I've lost a lot of work because it doesn't auto save like a lot of things these days. So click save and let's run this puppy. Looks like it ran successfully. Let's look into our morning reports. There it is for the 7th of January. I think I did that date a little wrong. I did the European version. We click in and this has all of our information that we need. Freaking awesome. So let me fix up that date, how that works. What we want to do is month, month, day, day, year, year and click OK. All right, so now that we got our morning routine figured out, let's move into some of the most important stuff here. And that is, did the Celtics win last night? So that's the next module I'm going to add in here. I know I don't really have to ask because most of the time they do win, but we're going to put in here another perplexity module. We're going to connect it here and you can arrange these really however you want, but add a message. And now that we got a few things up here, I think it's a good idea to start naming these modules because it can get a little bit confusing. To do that, you got to right click right on the middle of the module there. I'm going to duplicate this module in order to format this Celtics news because I don't, again, like how perplexity gives you so much information. I just want the quick two sentence version and it's hard to get perplexity to actually do that with the prompts. So I'm going to do it here by cloning the formatting one that we just set up. All right. So for this prompt, I said, please take this news about the Celtics and format it to be very concise two to three sentences max. Remember I'm a Celtics fan and format your answer accordingly. And then I have mapped it to the Celtics news that it pulls from perplexity here. And now we're going to add this to our morning report. So we're going to connect this module over here and we're going to add another paragraph collapse this one add another item paragraph and I'm going to grab this result here from that module you can see that module blinking that's the one we want click OK all right and now that that has run let's click back into our morning report and we can see here that we've got the morning routine as well as the Boston Celtics news and now that we've got the important stuff out of the way we can start thinking about how we can use this for actual work so instead of putting in the Celtics news there what about anything related to your industry so for me it's anything related to generative AI or tech news. So I'm just going to duplicate these two modules, adjust the prompts and update this notion module. All right, I've done that. Now let's run this. All right, back in the morning reports here, we now have the morning routine, the Celtics update and the major AI announcements of yesterday, the last 24 hours. All right, so now in addition to the forecast and any sort of news that you want to look at, we can take that news 
and shape it into social media updates. I'm gonna duplicate this one. I'm gonna add a router. So I'm taking the AI news search results and I'm splitting that off from our, this is our morning report. We'll label that morning report. And now we're gonna do a social media formatting. So I've modified this prompt to just take that AI news and turn it into an X post. Now we're gonna clone this. We're gonna rename this social media. And just like we did with our morning reports, I just created a page for my X posts here. And I'm grabbing all these numbers and letters from the URL. And we're gonna change this parent page because this is the parent page for our morning reports. And we're gonna change that with our X post page. And we're gonna call this AI post because it's gonna grab that same date and it's just gonna label it post there. And there is our X post based on the last 24 hours of news. But you might be saying to yourself, hey, that's very generic. And that's not an X post like I would do. And I got you covered there. So let me show you how to do that. But before we do, I'm just going to set this to run every morning, run it at regular intervals every day. I'm going to do it at 5 a.m. Eastern and that will run every day and it'll pick up the date and it'll pull all of that stuff into my morning reports. So here's a process for creating social media posts in the exact tone and voice that you want to match. It's the same process we went through before. You can add it onto that previous workflow. It starts with the same thing in Perplexity where we're pulling information, industry news, etc. And then we're going into tools. We're using this to create the date like we did before. But here's where things get different. Inside of Notion, I've created a page that has all of my good LinkedIn examples. So you can pull things from people you're inspired by, or maybe it is your past, you know, successful uh, LinkedIn posts or whatever social media posts they are. And then we're going to reference those when we create our final piece here. So here in this uh, OpenAI module, we reference those examples that are in Notion. So this is another killer way to integrate Notion with perplexity. So the, the prompt is very simple. It just says, hey, take this news and create something like these examples. And we've mapped you know, that uh, perplexity response here. And then we've mapped our examples inside of Notion. So the awesome thing is there, if you get a LinkedIn post that just takes off, just grab that update your page with your examples there. You don't need to do anything in make and it'll automatically start to uh, make your uh, posts match, you know, your better and better performing pieces there. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. There is so much you can do with this. You can pull information here into a database. So I'm just grabbing the highs and lows of Bitcoin each day. So this goes out, this perplexity module just it has a prompt that says, hey, search for uh, the uh, you know, the Bitcoin highs and lows. And then this one format grabs the high and this one grabs the low. I'll show you what those prompts look like. So this takes the messy information from perplexity and formats it right into just a price for the high. This does the same thing for the low. And then here, instead of creating a page, we're creating a database item. So this is this very easy to set up, same exact thing we went through. And here's what it looks like. It just adds things to the table here. So if you're trying to keep track of any sort of metrics that are publicly available, you can use perplexity to pull them that way. I know there's fancier ways to do this, more you know elegant ways to do this, but I think using this perplexity brute force method can get you some results really quickly uh, that you know for things that you know where APIs are hard to manage and keep changing, etc. This is the brute force method for gathering data and pulling it into your Notion database. So we've talked about planning our day and looking back on the last 24 hours, but you can also expand out to plan your week or even your you know month or season. So one thing you can think about is grocery shopping, you know, thinking about pulling your list together of what you want to eat that week and converting that all into a grocery list using some of the methods that I've shown you here. So you can maybe create a page page inside of Notion with some of your favorite foods and have it reference that as you go out and shop each week. Another cool thing that you can do is just have it plan your weekend. So ask it, hey, what's going on this weekend locally? Are there any concerts, any activities, anything that my kids might be interested in? And have it pull that weekly report of ideas there. When it gets into seasonal things, I don't know about you, but I've got a lot of different maintenance and things around the house that I got to deal with. So I have loaded in there my calendar of all sorts 
sorts of uh, home <laughs> maintenance routines, and it references that. Hey, coming up this month or in the next few months, what do I need to be doing uh, to take care of my home there and have those reminders just pop right into Notion. You can also have it remind you about what holidays are coming up. I'm notorious for forgetting special holidays. So if this video helps one person remember Mother's Day, I will consider this video a super success. If you're trying to learn a language, you can add in there, what is the word of the day? What is the Spanish word of the day that I can think about? Fantasy sports is a big one, getting reminders of things you can do, actions you can take for fantasy football, etc. Other cool things are this day in history. What happened this day in history? And what I really like about that is that it adds some randomness into the make scenario. So when you ask it to, uh, you know, what happened this day in history, you might then want to say, hey, take that information and how can I use that as inspiration for my artwork, maybe my songwriting or my painting or whatever. Another cool one I came across, what's been highly rated on Rotten Tomatoes for XYZ genre, whatever type of movie or television you like to watch. Get a continual flow of highly rated shows in whatever area of interest you're in. That can be a cool one on a weekly basis. I've got all of these scenarios, these make automations instantly available to anybody who supports me on Patreon. They are super easy to use. Let me just show you how easy it is to upload this and start using this. So the scenario files are called blueprints and to upload them, you all you got to do is go into make. Like I said, you can do a ton inside of make for free. You just create a new scenario, come down here to these three little dots, import a blueprint, choose the file, this one, you can download it directly from my Patreon, save and boom, you just have that whole thing that I just walked you through instantly set up there, ready to rock and roll. And I'm there in Patreon. If you have any trouble, you can just shoot me a little note uh, there if you run into any errors. I hope you enjoyed this video. There's another one I've made all about make that I'm gonna link to now. That is your next step on this journey, getting a little bit more advanced with adding more and more modules to make. So go ahead and click that video and I will see you over there. Make your dreams come true, true.